What is going on guys and welcome back to this new vlog. I'm extremely excited because today I'm picking up my new car. And some of you guys may have questions like why I bought a new car and what happened to my 3000 GT. But don't worry, I will talk about this later in this video. But now I'm just walking to the dealer to show you the car to get the last paperwork done. Alright, so I didn't record at the dealership because there was so much going on and I didn't want to interrupt something. But I'm finally here with my new car. It's a Mitsubishi Eclipse GS. It's the model without a turbo. I'm a little bit sad about that, but I think I just building a turbo by myself. So that's good. It has 42,000 kilometers on it and was first hand. And the only owner before me was an old man, so that's perfect. As you guys can see, it's a little bit messy inside. I got three more wheels. One wheel was missing. And I got something for the ride because I need to drive five hours to Berlin and I need some navigation because the old radio inside is not working. I don't have the code for it. The dealer didn't knew it. The previous owner maybe forgot it or something like that. But that's no problem because I want to change the radio anyway. Right now the car is extremely dirty as you may can see. But I don't think it's worth it to wash it yet because this 500 kilometers will make it dirty anyways. And next week I'm not driving with the car, it's just staying at home under trees so birds are gonna shit on it. But I will clean it on Friday at the time I'm driving back to my hometown. And yeah, that's basically it from the car. I'm going to install this thing. And and then on the next stop I'm going to tell the story about my 3000 GT and what went wrong, why I have a new car and what happened to my old car. Let's get inside and install this thing. Alright, so I bought this at the gas station for I think 20 bucks. It's definitely not the best quality or something like that, but I think it's going to work for this ride. So. Let's just put a phone inside, then you can stick it like this to the window. I think I could make some cool time lapses on my phone with this one from the window. That should be pretty cool. Alright, let's take this off. Let's just put it here and lock it like this. Perfect. Alright, this looks not extremely good, but I think it's going to work. So, now I'm just continuing the trip. Alright, I have... Yeah, 200 kilometers left. But at the last stop I realized that I need to fill up the air in the tires. That's why I stopped here. So, that's what we're doing now. Alright, so let's talk about my 3000 GT. As you may know, I bought this car around about one year ago and directly at the start I had many problems. It started with the cooling system and with major rust problems, but these problems wasn't even that bad because I was in contact with the restoration shop and they told me that they could fix this car for 12,000 to 15,000 euros and I was cool with that. So we made the paperwork and the car got to the restoration shop and then they took around about three to four months until they started working on this car. At this time I was also moving to Berlin and it wasn't really the best time for my mental health and stuff like that because I'm not feeling really good in Berlin. But I, I was happy to have a car like this and that was one of the big points that made me happy. Then round about one month after they should started working on the car, it was December, 
Um, I, get a, I got a call from the restoration shop and they told me they have a problem because the rust problem was much worse than they thought it would be. So the frame was rusted too and I don't know the English word, here it is, was completely rusted through. At the time they were working on the car, it was, yeah, nearly breaking apart and the things that it's holding it on the car were rusted too. Then we had the problem that this, this car, the 3000 GT, was so rare that there were, there aren't any parts to buy to fix such a huge damage and that brought the cost from the restoration from 12 to 15 up to 50,000 and that's yeah too much for me so I sold the car for 2,000 it was ready to go to the junkyard so that's pretty sad but now I have my new car I looked it up round about yeah, three weeks ago, four weeks ago and last week on Monday I had the test drive. I took the train from my hometown to Frankfurt where I bought this car and now one week later I'm taking it home and I'm extremely happy so far. I'm in contact with some guys that will check this car on Friday but so far I was driving now around about 300 400 kilometers and also tried out to speed a little bit so on the German autobahn or highway it's legal to drive as fast as you want so I drove around about 220 kilometers per hour and there was no problem so I had the feeling that the car was shaking a little bit but that was caused by its air pressure from the tires so so far so good now I met a nice guy here at the gas station that would like to come to Berlin with me and I'm taking him with me so that's basically it with this video I will make a video where I go a little bit more into the car what I want to do with it what the project look like and some parts that I have in my mind what I will change in the beginning and I think I'm just making this video at the same day where I'm taking the car to the shop to let it checked out so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you would like to join me with this project with my first project car well okay it's my second car but it's my first real project car. So, see you soon.